The teaching through problem solving is uh, um, English translation of Mondai Kaiketsu Gakushu. The Mondai Kaiketsu Gakushu is developed in Japan in the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, you know, the researchers suggested that you know the teaching mathematics is best while asking the student to solve the problem that he or she have never seen before. And that gives them opportunity to stretch what they already have it. And then that is going to be a, a, a learning opportunity for many students. And then also the solving problem and then during the context, the students see the value of the mathematics and then the usefulness of mathematics. And that helps students to see that, you know, uh, how can math help the student everyday life and then solve everyday problem, not only uh, the math problem. Mm -hmm. Help students to appreciate the mathematics and then be able to use mathematics. And at the same time, it's very crucial for students is learning is something you need to act by yourself first, rather than possibly listening to somebody's talk and so they have you know the access to this the new situation and then struggle and then learn to overcome this struggle and by using mathematics it's very powerful and that helps students to become independent learners and then also the critical thinkers then problem solver which is at the most important for being the citizen for the next generation well, the teaching through problem solving, it's very important for you, the student work, student independent work, and then publicly discuss about what is the good things and what might be a room to improve, how those are different. And a lot of the help uh, for teachers to show their work in authentic way, rather than asking students to come up to the board and then rewrite their solution. That takes a lot of time to wait. Or also document the camera can be used, but document the camera you cannot annotate or add comment or contrasting a couple of different approaches or switching each other. And then by Royal Note have a freedom and then actually capture the student work and then immediately you can show it and then compare it and then rearrange it and then annotate it. And that's a strong advantage. And also, uh, you know, um, the how the student ideas, you know, uh, contribute to learning mathematics is crucial in the teaching through problem solving. And then definitely the kind of interaction, collaboration nature of Royal Note is pretty powerful. Yeah, I think there's two things that add on to what Dr. Takahashi said, and one is um, when you're projecting the student's ideas. Um, traditionally in a problem solving lesson, the teacher is scribing what the students say on the board. Um, and the teacher might get it wrong, or they might try to put their own idea into the student's ideas. But in low I low note, the student has complete ownership of their idea. And you're just projecting the student idea on the board, and then the student gets to speak to their idea. And they don't have to just explain it to the teacher, they get to explain it to their entire class. Um, so I think that's one advantage. And the other is, I think there's certain content in mathematics that is really hard to make the thinking visible just by scribing it on the board as the teacher. Um, and so what we saw today was an example of that. I've taught angles units uh, numerous times and it was one of the more difficult, the measurement units tend to be difficult to display the student's thinking. But in low I low note that students can take a picture of, of their work and then it's really easy to show exactly what the student did. Uh, yeah, teaching through problem solving and lesson study have been powerful pedagogical um, structures for us and learning structures for our teachers. Uh, I highly encourage anyone that's interested in supporting their students in learning mathematics to consider using teaching through problem solving and lesson study. Hi, this is Akihiko Takahashi from Dupuy University, Mathematics Education. My name is Sarah Liebert. I'm the principal at John Muir Elementary School in San Francisco, California.